What's up, everybody? It's Joe LaPuma. You were listening. You were watching the Complex Sneakers podcast. As always, I am with my guys. First off, Mr. Matt Welty. We're here today, and it's great. Got his liquid death water. He's ready <laughs> to go. And look at, to my left, Mr. Brendan Dunn. Pretty in pink. <laughs> you feel okay saying that what brand of water he's drinking? It's I, right I'm, there. I'm not being sponsored by it. Not people. being sponsored? Some people have Dude, that's the thing. Like Some people have accused me of being sponsored. Well, accused you? I, I, I feel like people celebrate when we're sponsored. I am a water-free agent. As you guys know, I had the Essentia deal back in the day. Yeah. I am a water-free agent. How hefty yeah. was that bag? Yeah. Uh, we got to treat you just like you're a guest on Full Sledge Run and ask the hard-hitting questions. It was a nice sponsorship, and I was early on the Essentia wave. Mm -hmm. Victor Cruz has a... Has a sponsorship now, I think. I was early. I was Here, an early adopter of the Essentia I remember, I remember. black and red. Yeah. <laughs> you see it, though. You do see you it pop in the office. So you used to have the, like, you used to have, like, a box always of Essentia <laughs> yes. water. I feel like he's going to take us back to a meeting yes. in 2015 where you yelled at him and no, threw, no, no, no. threw an Essentia bottle yeah, in his head. Yeah, they would send it to the office. <laughs> yeah. No, I would never do that. Yes, of course. I remember you always had it, but then, like, I always remember, like, seeing people in the office knowing that you had, like, Essentia, like, under your desk. They'd they would come in? They'd always, like, come in and, like, yeah. grab it. That was cool. Now, let me ask it's you fine. this. Where did the relationship break down between nah, you No, it was and a one-year thing, and I think it was a two-year thing, and then they just – we just moved on. Yeah. But essentially, like – You early. told them yesterday's price is not no, today's price. No, and then they, no, no. They just uh, – Was there an extension option on the contract? Nah. I can't do – what is it, like, the ionized water? It's really good. I'm a tap water. It has, like, okay. a very distinct – taste to it well, we, I mean, do we do aquapana though i'm not i'm not okay. that like water I'll, rating I'll, guy i'll go there with you okay. yeah that guy have I'm you not, seen this I'm guy not that no i i heard did we talk about this last maybe week? off air we did okay last yeah. week's episode we Th talked. this guy who i think he's a tiktok guy and he goes into convenience stores and he'll just run down all the bottles of water that are on the shelf and say this is shit this is uh no. distilled tap water this is actually good this is good only is if you buy the yellow bottle um I feel like maybe he's an Austrian guy, okay. but I don't know. Yeah, Essentia. Still still use Essentia on set, though. What? No, you can't give it away for free, Joe. They but it tastes good. <laughs> They're going to put you well, in liquid a deck. death. Liquid Death is like the L.A. podcast drink water is of choice. Is that why Wealthy is uh, I, I You have not, to admit, you do see Liquid Death yeah, but a I'm lot. but I'm not an L.A. guy. Not an LA I know, guy. I'm just saying. <laughs> you think that influences choice? I don't know. Trying to, yeah. If you see me wearing a Bass Pro Shop trucker hat, then is that an LA podcast guy piece of apparel? I feel like maybe like that, like a pair of Jim Shark like high socks and like. <laughs> Joe, I want to get into another thing that we were talking about off air. Okay. You had some glizzy cravings that you were trying to calm down. Yeah. So last night. So I was in Miami for almost two weeks and I didn't eat great. Mm -hmm. Not not healthy. You you had good food, but it wasn't. Yeah, exactly. Not a lot of salad. So hanging out yeah. with Dennis Rodman. Yeah, we're yeah we're back on like uh we're back on, on eating healthier. But eleven o'clock, I had a glizzy craving. Mm -hmm. Yes, last night. And what I would say is that I don't know if you guys have you guys developed any new food cravings during the pandemic from being at home. Hot dogs is definitely one that because we were like a lot of us were ordering food or cooking. Mm -hmm. I do not like, and I'm not like saying that. I don't remember the last time like with buns and everything that like I cooked a hot dog at my house. Oh, I do. I use, I did like chicken hot dogs a lot during the pandemic, and yeah. like a good hot dog, sauerkraut, and mustard sometimes like from Katz's. I, I, I'm with Wealthy on this. I would never prepare a hot dog at okay. my house. I feel like hot dog. <laughs> That's like when you're 12 and your mom's it, gone, it, right? And you're like, yeah. I guess we could boil some water and put some hot dogs. No, in not it. boil though. In the pan. <laughs> oh, excuse Almost me. like a grilled. <laughs> oh, Dirty water dogs. I yeah. sold at the uh, Long Island Ducks one right. of my one of my first jobs. Oh, ducks. I sold. Yeah. Different ducks. Long Island Ducks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember because I had like a like very like college college days, and I was like going to Rutgers, and I was living. I lived in an apartment with like three other roommates or something mm -hmm. like that you know i remember having a roommate who was i don't think he went to didn't go to school but like just played like a ton of video games in his free time mm -hmm. like didn't know how to cook all that and would just make four hot dogs for dinner and then sit in front of like <laughs> and play video games for playing? like uh like final <laughs> fantasy okay but were you living with me were we roommates hold on, what the fuck? But, but you're missing a, a very important part what was he making the hot dogs on 
<laughs> was he boiling mean? them in water? Or George was... Foreman Grill? No. Did you guys have George Foreman Grills? No. I, have, uh, I think we had one when I was growing up, but I, that... I never really. I never. Am I one. dating myself? No, no, no I no. know. I know. Oh, I know. George about Foreman Grills. Of American equipment. There was nothing better at UConn when, like, you would, you wouldn't go to the dining hall and it'd be like, "We're making steaks," and it would be on the little George Foreman Grill. But those things, <laughs> man, talk about an invention. I, I gotta say, I want to go on an adventure, because. I recently saw a friend posting on IG stories. He was going on some sort of glizzy tour of New Jersey, and it looked incredible. <laughs> oh, that, and I, and I, I, New I, Jersey that. has a lot of like old school hot dog what places. What is the hut? What is, what is the, the, the hut Rut, one? Rutt's Hut. Rutt's Hut. They uh, do the deep fried hot dogs. Let me know. Tell I'm, me. Tell me about all the hot dog places yeah, in, in Jersey. Uh, I've never been. There's a place called Hot Grill okay. in Clifton. Okay. I believe, but then also I think it's uh, in. People can correct me if I'm wrong because I think there's. I think it's. Route 22. Okay. There's a bunch of like Texas wiener places. Okay. That are just like old school hot dog places. So we got to do it. Can we do the well, tour? I, de- let's. We, we have so many other places. Yeah. No, that I have, one I, have I have definitely. This, I have to mention this because I'll get called out if I don't. Oh. Oh. About like a mile down the street from where I live, there's a place that's been there. I think since like the 40s called Boulevard Drinks. Okay. And we go in to get hot dogs there. It's kind of. It. I guess. It's like the uh, equivalent of like uh, like Gray's papaya. Okay. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. Like the really I'm old school Gray's like guy. hot dog places. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're uh, doing that tour. I want to I want to go back to college for a second because mm-hmm. there's okay. a few things we have to discuss. One is the college that is quite close to your house, Welty. Yes. Oh, yes. St. Peter's. Hold on. I was going to talk about that on the last podcast. Out, and I though. forgot. What if they lose this weekend? Ah, uh, it is what it is. Okay. Just so they may have. Well, I'm just saying this for yeah, a We've already lost, but we're shooting this ahead of time. <laughs> Show you how the sausage, just like a hot dog, is okay. made. Okay. <laughs> wow. wow being right. very transparent. Okay. No, okay. I like so that. How how on the St. Peter's bandwagon are you? So very. I'm, he's tweeting about it a lot. No, <laughs> Name I, three players. I don't. I don't. I'm the not, mustache I'm just, guy. I, I'm I admit it. I'm not. He plays so, on the team. Yeah. So we had to talk about, uh, me and Brendan were actually talking about this mm-hmm. off air. And it's weird because, so I live about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're, you're really triangulating yourself here between the, the, the 1940s bar, he, yeah. cafe and the St. Peter's thing. People are going to know exactly yeah, where you live. me, yeah. Um, wow. Anyways. Look for the building with the cleanest <laughs> sidewalk out front yeah. where the super yeah. keeps yeah. it squeaky exactly. pristine. But exactly. Li- Landscaping. Perfect. I'm not going to say which direction, <laughs> okay, but I, okay. live, I live around maybe like two streets over from St. Peter's College mm-hmm. it, or St. Peter's University. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I used to like, go by it all the time. Like yeah. it's weird because it is such a small school. I t- like I tweeted about it. It's th- between two traffic lights, mm-hmm. like, one set of traffic lights. That's the whole university. Crazy. So it's like one block. Yeah. Wow. It's one block. There's like three or four buildings just like right there. There's maybe like 1,500 kids who go there, just a private Catholic That's school. And it's just down the street from my house, so I never think much yeah. of it. And then I'm like, in Jersey City has like a long history of like basketball. Sure, sure, sure. Um, I'm vaguely aware of this. Yeah, just like the whole like North Jersey, but Jersey City in general has like a big uh, history of it. Yeah. But just to see it, and I'm like, wait, they won the first game, you know? And then they won the second game. And right now we we don't know, but we, we don't, don't know. know. They could have beaten <laughs> Purdue. Yeah, such a great story that everyone's rooting for them. I'm, I'm yeah. the Peacocks. Are you rooting for up? them? Yeah, UConn's but, out. UConn's out. Okay. What are we gonna do? One shot, we're out. But we the, lost in the first round. By the way, I think some people out there are questioning your UConn fandom. <laughs> okay. Because there's a young man who plays for the team. His name's Tyler Polly, and he's oh, trying yes. to get you courtside for a game. Yeah, good guy. I've talked to, I've talked to Tyler. Inst- I've, yeah, talked to Tyler. Okay. I've also talked to the assistant coach. When I are you going to come a top level love, booster and actually show up? I would love. So they've been asking, like, not been asking. They've been offering tickets yeah. like at the Garden. Helicopter. I've been, I've been bring no, you out I've in been a blade. Out of town. But for my UConn squad, I want to go to a game and sit close at Gamble Pavilion, which is on campus. Okay. There's a. Uh, you Hartford. want to take it all the way back? Yes. MSG, we love Madison Square Garden. It's right down the road. I want to go. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> no, I want to go, not when they're in the Big East tournament or when they have a game at Madison Square Garden. I want to go to UConn, sit in Gamble Pavilion with the fans, go to the student union, see what new eateries they have. Is there a have. particular rivalry jo- game that you would want to see? No. Is, so is there 
at UConn is their kind Jonathan of Jonathan the Husky outside. We'll get the Getty image outside. <laughs> Jonathan Husky. Jonathan the Husky holding court outside of Gamble Pavilion. That's where I want to be. Even if it this even if it's a snowy weekend, you'll go. Stay at the Nathan Hale Inn. Is there is, is there like a big like a is there like a big like alumni presence if you like go to those UConn games where it's kind of like all the well known like alumni all kind of so. sit in like hobnob together? I don't think so. You're not in a group chat with I don't, some. No, I'm not saying with your friends, but like just no, with I like, don't think so. Because I remember uh, going to Rutgers like a few years ago with like the girl I was dating at the time, and she had gone to Rutgers as well. Not we didn't know each other at the time, but like we had just like oh one weekend we're like let's go back like yeah. to New Brunswick to see like go to like a few of the old bars or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was other like alumni people, you know, not that you know, but just like still going and, and hanging out. And in part of my head, I'm like. Kind of weird, like kind of weird to like be out of college, but then be the person who kind of like persistently kind of still kind of. You know, I've been ridiculed for this before. You almost knocked no. over liquid death, and yeah. that's not the first time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I've been ridiculed for this before. And stop me if we talked about this on the podcast. But I had described to some of my coworkers about going back to a University of Oregon football game in Eugene, and then wanting so desperately to eat. At Carson Dining Hall, which is one of the student dining oh, halls that's afterward. Weird. No, that's, it's not. No, it's not. That's um, no, it's to go not. back and I would do sit the down same thing. Oh, you the dining hall? hall? Yes, I would do the same chocolate thing. milk? South Dining Hall. I would love that. I would bring back the two, like we talked about, yeah. the two sets of Diet Cokes. <laughs> and we might have to get the and, NCAA to come in and sponsor this. And don't let it be General Sow's Day because we already <laughs> talked about that. Don't let it. Don't let me sit in courtside well, one day or third row and it be General Sow's Day at South Dining Hall. I'm all in. I guess this is a one thing, and I'm not calling you out here, but you went to Rutgers a little bit later, right? Yeah, so no, you didn't no, necessarily sure. have the on-campus well, freshman experience. I did go to another school uh, yeah. on campus for two years. Um in western new hampshire and like i mean it was like a division three school it wasn't yeah. like i used to go to the basketball games you know but like they didn't have a football team okay like okay whatever but yeah i would never i think i went back there once like the semester after i graduated to yeah. hang out with my friends and i'm like i'm never doing this again okay <laughs> like that one and done you're like yeah yeah no nope. all right you kind of move enough. on from college you know i i mean Kinda. Do they have a pair of Osiris skate shoes hanging in the <laughs> Rutgers Museum that you wore or no? No? You donate that? <laughs> what were you wearing in college? Give me one shoe that you were wearing in college. Uh, so when I went to, I went to college, like, I mean, I think I mentioned I went to college. <laughs> no, 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 no. I went to, no, it's, no, I'm no, kidding, no, I'm because I, it took Candy me so was long. A nickel? <laughs> it took me so long to oh, graduate because yeah. from when I started to when I finished was like eight years. Mm -hmm. So it like, it transcends like a few time periods. Yeah, everyone mm -hmm. has their own pace. Earth yeah. science was holding me back. <laughs> no, Earth I'm science kidding, was kidding. mine. Okay. Earth science had to yeah. take the regions three times. Still, <laughs> but still when I, we're all and over I think the place. When no, I no, to, I love it. I love it. When I went to all. school in New Hampshire and was actually like going to having the whole college experience. Yep. Um, my two, I think I'm, I may have mentioned one. My two go-to like if I'm going out shoes, but still want to wear something semi cool at the time mm -hmm. i had a pair of black and white vans half cabs um because wow this yeah. is good can, i don't think we've ever talked can about you imagine though wealthy wearing vans half cabs so this is no but just so to set the stage or whatever this yeah, is 2007 right. okay okay so this is like peak like streetwear all over print hoodies Levi's SB Dunk on? that's what i thought i thought it was a sb dunk well, there's a there's a picture of you online so holding the SB Dunk. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. The explain it. Okay. So it was that era though, but <laughs> I'm no, not no, no. So my so my uh, this is what I'm talking about like going out to like going drinking on a thirsty Thursday, Friday night, Saturday. You know, I never had one drink in college, right? I respect that. Um, I was so ahead. sorry, I'm really sorry. But Van's half cab was like a cool enough shoe that like I could put it together with whatever I was wearing. It wasn't wear like because this. You think about what people were wearing at that time. Mm -hmm. They're wearing like Cook Nike shocks, like Etnies, like in Western New Hampshire. You okay. know, it's like not wearing cool shoes at all. Yeah. So I just felt wearing the half cabs. I could still look how I wanted to look, and be a shoe that like, it's not going to get cooked. I can clean it easily. I can just wear it. I'm not going to feel like if I mess these things up, I'm going to have regret. Were they suede or were they leather? The, the, like just the original half cap, okay, the, the, yeah, the black yeah, yeah. suede with the yeah, white yeah, yeah. sole. Cool. And then I had a pair. I think I may have mentioned it on here. I had a pair of Nike Delta Forces 
Good in, one. In a low in white navy in light blue that I bought at Foot Locker on sale for twenty nine ninety nine or something like that. You can't beat that. Or twenty one ninety nine maybe. Okay, you just beat it. You can beat <laughs> it apparently. And that was like the other going out. Like I have a cool pair of Nikes on, but like they were easy to clean. They were white leather, you know. Just so it was a shoe that you thought was cool, but that you weren't afraid to fuck up a little bit. It yes. wasn't like the thing that you thought was yes. the coolest. But then I also had all of my SBs and Air Maxes and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I would never wear those to a party because once you went into the basement, like we talked about this with yep. Asher Roth. Yep. Forget it's like it. Once you go into a basement, especially that era where sneakers weren't really a thing yet, someone would step on your shoes and not care. Yeah. Now, now I want to know about Joe's yeah, college so, footwear. So college footwear. You were the guy he was talking about with the shocks, the crusty shocks no, on? No, <laughs> no. To be honest, college was still peak finish. Peak. What, year, what year were you in college? Just so we can. Graduated in um, 05. Okay. So a bef little before. Yeah. So. You're talking like 03, like June at Reebok days. Um, hold on. I you wanna, talked about it. On I want to fact check. I want to fact check. Okay, this. a little bit like buying the Jordans online from East Bay or something. So like that. exactly, but I was still like very in the finish line sphere of like yeah. working there when I when I would come home for Christmas break and summer. Mm -hmm. So the releases like I remember Flint Thirteens, Rudy Calderon. Let's say it together. You mean? The Yao Ming. Yao Ming. Yu Ming. Ming. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yao, Yao Ming. Ming I remember Ming Rudy would be like, look what out. just came in in the stock room. Like we all, it was like, it was Nike talk days. So okay. you knew the releases, but then Rudy, who was working at finish line back then would be like, Flint 13s just came in and I'd mm. be like, can you hold them? And, and I would buy them. But what I really loved about college days were like the ginger 16 days. Like that's a big Joe LaPuma shoe. Ginger 16s. I remember just like. Wearing those, I, it, like in the winter, and and to your point, in, in the winter, yeah, like I remember fucking them up like that. I was always like hesitant to wear, but then I got new shoes, and especially when like you would come back from break mm -hmm. and get a haul of sneakers that were like waiting for you yes. from New York or Christmas releases, yeah. and then come back, you always wanted to wear the new stuff. Another move that I pulled yeah. that was. Kind of a flex, okay. which I loved. <laughs> and you guys know I love this guy, Karan Butler. Yes. Karan yeah. Butler, my favorite UConn player of all, of all time. You got to be next to him sitting courtside. I would love, well, that would be amazing. But Karan Butler, my favorite player of all time, UConn player of all time. He was at UConn for one year. I always say he had the Flint nines yes. first. He, he came in to the office a few years ago and he was like, I was getting them from the Coliseum in Queens. All the seventeen, yeah, seventeen. He, he had a Karam Butler bobblehead. No, he yes. didn't have a bobblehead. You no, had like I a, had a uh, like an enter base style toy that was I like a statue three feet that. tall. It was like uh, Huspala size, and it was a full and detail listen, of him. Listen, <laughs> I love Karam Butler. <laughs> was that foul? I love. No, Karam, <laughs> hold on, okay. I love Karam Butler, but that statue. I feel like Life like if you saw no, if you I woke like, up in the middle of the night and you saw it on your nightstand you'd be like what the fuck is Karan? Dude, it's like I just feel like they got one of the bear bricks. <laughs> yeah. bricks. I just feel like <laughs> 10, that was one of the most Karan that was Butler. one of the most random purchases like ever. It was yeah. So anyway, Karan <laughs> Butler was wearing the Jordan 17s yeah. early with like the the white and blue ones. He would wear Jordan 9s. He played one year and then he went when I was there. Played one year at UConn, and then he went to the NBA. I snuck into the press conference. I said I wrote for the daily campus paper, which oh, I? I didn't, and I got in. Mm -hmm. And he was like emotional, and he was like, he was with Jim Calhoun. He was like, I'm leaving. Jim Calhoun's the coach. Yeah, okay. I'm leaving to go to the NBA. Were you emotional? Uh, was I <laughs> Maybe emotional? I don't think so. They canceled but the I said I, I wrote week? for the paper, which I ended up writing for. But the next, my sophomore, my sophomore year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Move in day. Big day. Karan gets drafted by the Miami Heat. Okay? Mm -hmm. The move in day. Is this, I got to know, is this moving into a dorm or this is you got your first apartment year. Nope. off campus? Dorm. Okay, dorm. back in the dorms. Parents are there. Everyone has the boxes, this and that. Mm -hmm. So I move into my dorm, sophomore year. Karan goes, Karan gets drafted by the Heat. Three days before that, I go to the NBA store with Rudy. Mm -hmm. Yaming. Yeah, Authentic Miami Heat Karan jersey. I show up to moving day yeah. in the jersey, which is <laughs> like probably. You were is, ready. Yeah, which is like 
Was there anybody else? No, no one had the jersey. I went to the NBA store in the city. I was like, I want to be the first person at UConn with an authentic Quran, black and red. I need a photo of that What do you think I heavy matched it with eventually? Black and red 11s? Yes. Incredible. And then, hold on. Then <laughs> he's not putting. He's I'm not sorry. Putting the fit together. Then, no, no, no. Don't this apologize. Is too much. This is so greatness. then, two of my friends ended up walking on, almost walking on the UConn team. One, the Sean basketball Allen. Team? Yeah, Sean Allen. Great <laughs> the basketball team. No, yeah. the, and the then table tennis. Sean squad. Allen. No, because people walk on. Dude, UConn. a lot more people walk onto the football team. Like that's yeah. a common thing. But like making the walking onto the basketball team is Got like they're right. just so heavily recruited that like so, that's not gonna happen. Fair enough. Fair enough. So you know I don't know shit. I would okay. play. So in our crew, like Sean Allen. Great three point specialist. Yeah. Just, and he made it to like the final tryout. And one of our friends, Nick Verstotsky, actually made the team. But they paid attention to him because he was in the dunk contest for, oh my God, what's it called? October. What's the thing? What's Not the, McDonald's All American. No, no, no. What's the first kickoff of Not the March season? Madness, Midnight Madness. Midnight yeah. Madness is like what an is event. Midnight Madness? It kicks off the season. It's when the, the season starts. It's like the first basketball it, season. It's the first day and usually they have like at the at the gymnasium yes. it's not a real game oh they was get, that like where drake was shooting air balls for kentucky they get the team they get the team it's almost like it's almost like a party yeah. rally yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. so nick versoski is in the dunk contest and he wore the quran he was like yo could i borrow the quran butler jersey wow. and he wore the authentic miami heat jersey there has to be a photo of that i bet I'll, we can find it i'll try to, i'll try to find Wait, one. did you wear a, a headband with the no but if I was doing this on the court. Listen, no, but I like I always say, I did not show up in the, the box, box score, score but the, all the yeah, fundamentals. Yeah, exactly. You know, no. you need me to die for a loose ball, I'm there. You need me to set a pick, I, first no, one. I'm pitching, but, I'm pitching the fit. But, I'm, I'm geez, picturing but, the fit with like the jersey, but also you were like, that was like the growing up Gotti era of like yes. the blowout. You had the blowout haircut at the time? I had a G unit headband. We need this photo yeah. so bad. I I'm picturing G- the, the headband with the blowout, Hold the on. Carmine Gotti. Are you trying to find the photo right I now? I have some. Wait, I ha- I have you ever some. looking like We're not- Carmine <laughs> Gotti <laughs> wearing Carmines? I mean, I watched that <laughs> show. Carmine yes, I watched I watched that show. I watched that show. Um, Joe, Joe is uh, handing me his phone so I can look at the photo nines. of him. Nines. But not. not that's wow. not a good fit, though. But like, Nothing look, baggy jeans. This almost doesn't even look like you. I know. Wow. Let me see. I thought that was Pete Davidson. I'm not gonna lie. Who next to me? No, you. Skeet. You just look different, Joe. Like, it- see the nines? Yeah. If okay, somebody anyway. showed you that photo, would you know it was Joe LaPuma? Uh, maybe if I look closer to it, but not from far away. It's blurry. <sighs> we might not be able to put it in. Anyway. <laughs> no, we're putting it in for sure. Can we go to my college days? Uh, yes, I'm yes. sorry. But but a great era. A great era. Sorry if that was a long tangent. No. But like, I, I, I love Ginger 16s. Stuff. One last thing. The G unit sne- sneakers were in the closet. Yeah. I don't think I ever wore them though. That's one shoe that I never wore, but I had them. And like people would come to the dorm, and I'd be like, <laughs> I got the G Unit sneakers because it was like peak fifty. My yeah. mom waited in line for them, yeah. but uh, that's one shoe I didn't wear. Okay. Sorry. No, no, no. You go. You don't don't go. apologize at all. Um, I was on SB Dunk so heavily at that time. So, I my freshman year of college was two thousand eight because I took a year off. So. I just you know your whole life ahead of you. You're young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was um, Appetite for Destruction, Nike SB Dunk Low, or the Border Blue Suede SB Dunk Low, but always with the most matching thing you can imagine. So the Appetite for Destruction, you know, which is a black sneaker with the gradient on the back and the purple swoosh. So I'd have that with like a black undefeated tee with yes. the gold five strike logo on it, or um, uh, those those St. John's Nike Dunk High Vintage yeah. that I wear like that. With a red ten deep shirt and then the red and white Crooks Dude, and Castles. There was yes. there, you're, yes. you're reminding me of like in that era, especially where like I was going to school. Yeah, like, but we're talking about me. I know. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I'm going back to you. You're talking about those shoes, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was really hard to differentiate. Like there were some people who were into streetwear yeah. and sneakerheads, but like you know how all the sneaker, all that the the. The clothing and sneakers yeah, yeah, you're yeah. talking about were also sold at like skate shops, sure. right? So there was also a lot of like kind of just like snowboard, like weed smoking bros mm. who like were in like the skateboard scene who just happened to get an all over print hoodie okay. in like a pair of like, this is iconic. And I I, I don't know if you had the shoe or not. That's why I thought maybe you had it was yeah, yeah. Bic. Nike SB <laughs> dunks. I hate that shoe. Yeah, it's not a good shoe. The uh, black and yellow. Yes, black, yeah. it looks yellow, like yeah. the new love Jordan ones. Yeah, not a good shoe. 
forgettable. Picturing that, like you see the like, kids show up first day of class with a pair of like Bic Nike SB Dunks, and you're like, oh, is he a sneakerhead? You just find out he's some dude who smokes weed and snowboards. <laughs> Did you and you're like, right. fuck. <laughs> Wait, I gotta, I gotta run to a couple more Yeah, things. yeah, okay. yeah. But the matching, I would yes. say. One yes. thing about the matching, we used to do the olive Jordan 9 with a Lacoste. It would be a brown Lacoste, and the alligator would Come be- on. Hold on. Would <laughs> be green. Yes, yes. Would be green, and literally, we'd be like, look at how good we match the olive 9, and it was like, well, the alligator's green, and the shirt, that's how heavy <laughs> match we were doing. The Go. green 10 deep pants with the green Mishka flight jacket with the SB era dunks, or Come on. like I said, border blue SB dunk low with a blue and white kid robot sweatshirt. Um, it was funny actually this is this is a super embarrassing one so this is how i would you know this is how i would dress like every day um varsity red jordan sixes i don't i don't know Dude, what i was messing like you say you just you just remind me i had a there was a there was a good no no <laughs> same one no i'm saying no, same no, no, one. No, 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 there was a good friend of mine <laughs> Gr uh grant puza i remember shout out he was like one of those kids who just smoked weed and snowboarded yeah and but he had the 10 deep chain gang Yes. Hoodie, the red one. Dude, with the Cousins t-shirt, 316. I'm sorry, go on. Yeah, but oh, no, but you were 316. like. 316. You're like, is wow. he in the streetwear? Is he just. Are we going to be friends? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember one time. So, that shirt was classic. Yes, 100%. And they shipped it to me when I bought it and they accidentally packed another shirt in. So I had this 316 dagger shirt on it with this purple metallic foil. Um, uh, Spider-Man SB Dunk Mids going to Tactics Board Shop in that Eugene, Oregon. Oh. Okay, fair See? enough. <laughs> and the funny thing was, was he was what was he 17 18 <laughs> but I'm, I'm just going on the record i know you like some of them sure all nike sb dunk mids suck okay. he sees you in the cafeteria wearing them he just <laughs> <laughs> i still own a lot of those you your big peacock yes I, I love the peacock one but there was this one moment where and this is going to sound so made up but actually no it's not going to sound made up because why would you make up such an embarrassing story about yourself but my sophomore year in college I lived in a house with about eight people. Wow, it's a lot. It's a lot. It was Frat? A, it was no, no, sir. How many stories? Um, it was a two-story house, and we all had room. It wasn't, you know, yeah, yeah, it yeah. was a big ass house and like a detached garage where there were parties nonstop. But it was this total party house, so people were there every week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at least, and then sometimes an extra night. Is that the house where the infamous picture of you cleaning the shoes in the living room is from? No, that's at a friend's house. Okay. Um, one, what, so there was a party happening there one time, and I would never participate. I would just be like locked in my room doing I don't know what or out playing Magic the Gathering. So, I, I, I during <laughs> Did you see the magic meme by the way. Yeah, I saw the guy. <laughs> yeah, I saw that recently. I, yeah. I meant to hit you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ahead, so one of these big ass parties is happening. I'm in my room. I'm just like uh, annoyed. But I like go out to the kitchen to get some water or something. <laughs> and this this girl's like, "You're the guy. I see you around campus. You're the guy who always has these like crazy shirts and stuff." Okay. And I'm like, "Yeah, you, you want to see?" <laughs> yeah. oh. Like what you did a you did a <laughs> complex closets before? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. But I was like, yeah, I have all my shoes in here. And so like I showed her my room and she was like, What's yeah, that cool. what's that meme? Like, <laughs> what's, what's that meme? It's like you want to see my something room? <laughs> she was like, Yeah, you so yeah, do you wanna see this? Or just zero to hundred? Do you wanna so see? You just going through the IKEA so shelves? The IKEA shelves. But no, for real. The... I was like, Yeah, I'm that guy. Yeah, I'm him, you know? <laughs> and we go I show her in my room and it's like all my shoes lined up. I think I had like a lofted bed, but it's like all my fitteds like lined up. And wow, all my dude! I remember. <laughs> oh my god! And she was like, "Awesome!" Or like, <laughs> <laughs> "Thanks." It was that era. We never spoke again. <laughs> that era. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people remember like the streetwear T-shirts were kind of a uh, vulgar, risque at times. Yes, yeah. during like that. I didn't era. have any of those. Crooks ones and castles. The, yeah, not, yeah. not uh, hot chick in a bikini yeah. with a pair of Jordan fives had on a, or something. I had a uh, lick my kicks or something. Yeah, like oh, that. Man, I had <laughs> a lick my kick. You know that what I mean? Happened a <laughs> lot. Like and it would be like the sneaker get head. It to, yeah, get it to match your new. <laughs> Jordan you were 7's. selling that at finish line. Come on. No, no. <laughs> we didn't have Lick My Kicks. No, no, no. But, but it was like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. exclusive release to, to match to Bordeaux's. And it was like gray <laughs> with, per, yeah, with like, exactly. Yeah. Um, in the farm. One, one of my friends, Dave, had a, he had a, everything was like a logo flip back in the day. Sure. And he had this, um, it was a Diet Coke, a DC logo flip, but it was Coke Diet. And it was just like a topless picture of Kate Moss. And I'm like, dude, this is like, it's not like censored or anything. We're just walking around like this. But I had an accomplice 
don't know if you remember a yeah of course yeah uh t-shirt and dude i'm just thinking of all these t-shirts now yeah, i want to yeah, go so, 40 more so, minutes yeah on this i have one that i have to say so i had an accomplice t-shirt and um the picture was it was a girl dancing on a pole right <laughs> oh boy okay and but in the background there was where's waldo and he had a gold chain on like smoking a joint or something like that <laughs> this is classic just, 2007 yeah, so many, yeah. so many just, i remember yeah. i remember wearing that t-shirt to class one day mm -hmm. and my the comparative lit teacher is like mr welty <laughs> yeah i think um i think it was like geology 100 or something mm -hmm. like that and the teacher just looking at me and just being like, did you design that t-shirt yourself? <laughs> wow. <laughs> just in the dorm? You know, it was a I big... I some screen printing in the dorms. Not college, but you know, it was a big one for me. The Mike 23 Louis Vuitton takeoff. Yeah, Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Mike was like getting that. Yeah. I was interning here, I believe, and like getting those were such a big... Oh, yeah. Shout out our guy. Uh... Could, can we say? Michael Vincent. People know he works there? Uh. I don't know him. I oh, yes, yes, yes. We talked about it. He was on Full Size when we talked about it. Those shirts I were. I totally forgot he was on Full Size. Those I'm shirts, sorry. We're all over the place. Those shirts were amazing. Yes. The all over print yeah. era. And they were ahead of the curve in terms of getting shut down by yes. Nike. Yeah. Yes. Cease and desist for having their gear look too much like authentic yes. Nike stuff. Also speaking about Mike, because there was always so many uh, just like constant themes in streetwear that like every yeah. brand had to do their own. Like you say, Kate Moss. Like every yep. everyone yep. had a Kate Moss yep. t-shirt. But you say Mike. Mike Tyson t-shirts. Of course. Mike I, had Tyson. The, I lost my Supreme one. Big regret. I, I got the Supreme. That's a huge loss. That's a big loss. So I got Colossal. the Supreme one. Tough to quantify. Yeah, I got the Supreme one, and I, I can't... I, I know... You know when, like, you know the last yeah. place was? Yeah. It was, and it's not there anymore? That's, that's kind of what it is. Man, we are... Put a pin in... Yeah, we're the, all over the place, and we're yeah. in so many to different To put a pin eras. in it, the other last thing I would say about UConn... Kemba Walker, we were on 23rd Street. He had the great run of the Big East tournament. I remember yep. watching the crossover, the every anniversary, they're yep. like Kemba's crossover. But it but he was wearing, I was living at home, I think, at the time even, and he was wearing the Jordan 6 17 23. Do you know what that is? Yes, of course, yeah. So he was wearing that. I remember coming off the Long Island. Oh, what an awful shoe. That's the thing. It yes. was like, but coming off the Long Island Railroad, to come to complex foot action was right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I remember he was killing it so much. And I was like, I'm about to buy these six, 17, the 23s. Yeah, I even though you knew exactly. Yeah. I didn't end up buying them, but that's how like, there was that black and grape color wig. This is it. Drill a Puma in that. This is <laughs> it. Hold on. We'll put it, we'll put it in, yeah. but, but real quick, about, yep. this is it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yep. So I remember walking in during this run and being like, am I really about to buy these? I didn't end up buying them, but oh, yeah. you didn't end up buying. No, them. I didn't. Oh, but I, I, you, yeah, I, okay. were you there? I almost tried them on six seventeen twenty three, which is like. Were, were you there at UConn where it was the legend? It might have been afterwards. It was the legendary Big East tournament game against Syracuse. That was like the after. five, the five overtimes after. After Eric Devendorf thought, oh Devendorf thought yes. he hit the game-winning shot, but it yes. was like one second after, and he stood up on the table and. You know who was texting me during that? It's the real. We were going back and forth. They mm. Syracuse. The brothers Rosenthal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it was like this game is crazy. This game is crazy. But yeah. Wow. Did I ever did I ever tell you the guys a story? I may have told you off. I don't oh, think I ever told we're it. Forty on... minutes in. No, <laughs> here's, here's, <laughs> here's an actual. Here's an actual good March Madness story. Okay. So the bar next to my house, which I've mentioned <laughs> many times, can, right? The the, one, yeah. the bartender, mm -hmm. Bobby Kelly. Shout out, you guys can Google him if you want. We're dropping a lot of names yeah, today. A lot. Uh, Making was, some people famous. Was the starting point guard at St. John's University when Chris Mullen was a freshman? Wow. Um, so he like has like he real uh like ncaa whatever and like you know friends with the guy like come in we talk or whatever he's kind of quiet but like i'm sorry was, i gotta ask around what year is that chris the, mullen being a freshman? early 80s okay um early 80s and he told me that so i'm like shit you played against patrick ewing you know mm -hmm. georgetown like you play on st john's like mm -hmm. in 1983 yeah. or whatever and i was like or like 80 81 82 and I was like, wait, so that means, I'm like, did you play against Michael Jordan? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, dude, you, like, cause yeah, yeah, he yeah. doesn't want to like, like dish this stuff. He's just, he's not the sort of guy who just starts like, oh, like, yeah. guess what I did? Guess what I did? He's like really quiet. And I'm like, dude, what was it like playing against Michael Jordan? 
he's like Jordan when we were playing against him, he had a sprained ankle. So he was like, uh, you know, um, I wasn't like too worried about him, but mm -hmm. I knew how good he was. And there was like a loose ball on the court <laughs> and it's dribbling. And I'm like, Jordan's like 15, 20 feet away. And he's injured. Yeah, and he's injured, and he's just like looking down on it, but looking down to pick the ball up, kind of yeah. going kind of slow. But he's like, "Don't let Michael Jordan take this basketball from you," you know. And then he looks down. Michael Jordan's twenty feet away. He goes to pick the basketball up, and Michael Jordan's right at his ankles. Incredible. He goes, "I've never seen someone move that fast." He didn't see Joe diving after the loose balls. Yeah. Listen, all the to to a loose, <laughs> to a loose basketball. Than Michael Jordan. Crazy. You gotta ask that same bartender if he's got a pair of St. John's dunks laying around. I wonder if he would have been on the team. When no, the dunks it came was out. it was early uh, '80s. Okay, too late for that. <sighs> wow. Well, I, we, we talked we, about. We yeah. talked about. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've been a lot of places and yes. a lot of eras right now. Should we give away a pair of sneakers? Yes. We should because usually we're, we, we we're get to that a little bit earlier. Yeah, yeah I, we usually give it away way early, but. Let's we, do it. We, listen, we, we kind of we went on a tangent there, but it was we're, good. We're gonna do that plenty today. Free pair of sneakers every week from yes. eBay, as we always do. You can go to ebay.complex.com and submit a question for us to answer here on the air. If we answer your question, if we pick your question from the many submitted, we will give you a free pair of sneakers courtesy of eBay Sneakers and their Authenticity Guarantee Program. Yes. Only open to U.S. residents. I think we have a pair of New Balances to give away this yep. week. Is that right, Wealthy? We have a great pair. I forgot. Uh, Speaking of New one. Jersey, we're going to keep it super duper Jersey today. Yes. We're going to keep it Jersey City. Okay. Speaking of Jersey City. Yeah. It's all the same to me. Speaking of people who tell basketball stories. <laughs> oh. Bike Packer. Our man. Bike Packer. Our bike. man. You like that? Didn't he, like, when he came in here, he had, like, a pocket full of, like, uh, like CBD jelly beans or something? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Remember? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Great shoe. Anyways, anyway. Packer992. I don't think Brendan... And correct me if I'm wrong on this, but this was not billed as an official like Packer collaboration. Oh, it was a collaboration. It was? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I... Okay. I'm, Aaron's going to be kicking down your door if you try and take that one off his resume, man. Okay. I thought maybe it was something else where it wasn't done through the same program as the collaborative... No. That may, <laughs> that may be true. <laughs> okay. That's what... Yeah. No, uh, Packer clearly designed this shoe. We'll say that. Yes. I remember there was just like, there was some talk about like, whatever. I can't say anything about that. Okay. Um, Packer 992, just classic Curry I wear, colorway. I wear those a lot. I need to, I need to break them out. They're Who so are we giving good. these away to? We are giving these away to Iman Ghosh from Orlando, Florida. A lot of Florida winners lately. I don't know, I was just there. And he asks, what is one shoe you were very excited about buying and then found them ugly on feet? Hmm. Joe, you... Yes. The oh, reason why we did this is because I know you have an answer to this. I do have an answer. <laughs> it was a 617-23? No. I didn't end up buying them. But like we talked about early, the pandemic kind of glizzy craving that I <laughs> developed. I also developed a big love for ACG sneakers, mm -hmm. which is funny because we couldn't go outside. All conditions gear. You were <laughs> the only condition you were experiencing yes. was the comfort of your couch. Exactly. And I bought a few was pairs of the... <laughs> yeah, I bought a few. I bought a few pairs of the ACG, the ACG Mountain Fly Gore Tex, uh -huh. and I remember Zach the Basic. This is the high version, right? The high version. I bought like the tan with the pink, mm -hmm. and the and then I bought the all triple black, which you know I love triple black sneakers. And I remember Zach the Basic when I said I got them, being like, "Are they hard to put on?" I was like, "No, not at all, not at all." But they were hard to pull off. Upon hey, further review, I like that. upon I further like review. That. Zach was right. They were tough to put on, and they looked ridiculous on my feet. They really? looked yeah, like the just it just I don't, I don't know why. The top I, I'm looking. The, I'm the looking top at, down as they say. Yeah, wasn't. the top down, and I'm looking at it right now from the side. It's a shoe that I would buy again. It looks so good. I think maybe I like looked at too many John Elliott lookbooks, and they had a bunch of ACGs. Joe, I was like, oh, looking I can, at John Elliott lookbooks. I was Can't like, imagine. listen, I could I, I could pull these <laughs> Shout off. Shout out Rich Antonello. I could pull these <laughs> off, but like. Yeah, I, this one, but I'll wear them like in snowstorms and stuff, yeah. but as far as like a, it's a tough wear for me. They look really, really. Have you bought any of the Lowe's? The Lowe's a little bit more digestible, I bought right? those um, Haven Shop ones. Yeah, the black good pair. Too. Yeah, the black yeah. pair. But yeah, the, the ACG Mountain Fly Gore-Tex, definitely one that looks better on the screen and in the John Elliott lookbook than it does on my feet. All right. What about you guys? 
Um, I don't have a lot of shoes like this. I mean, Everything just looks good on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this is the only the this is the only three of us who's walked in a runway show, right? <laughs> I mean, I modeled for Ten Deep, but it wasn't a show. Hey, but, don't yeah. forget the Kiss book. Yeah, not a runway though, not right? A runway. Okay, um, you know what? There was a period where I was buying a lot of Air Force One highs, and then it's a shoe that I put on my foot, and I don't think that shoe. You never wore any of the ones that you bought. I wore one of them, I think, but I, I don't think that shoe in general looks. But this bad was the feet, color of the month reissue era. Exactly, but wearing those, I was just like, ah, I don't know. The if chocolates. I have the right stature for this. this, you know, or where to put the strap and things like that. It was the high was too high. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's just a shoe that looks weird on my foot. You know what? One random shoe that I pulled out this morning that I love this sneaker and I think we all enjoyed it in its heyday, but now looking at it and looking at the silhouette, I'm like, I don't know how I could make these work, look right is the Flyknit It Racer. I mean, that's such a slim shoe. You have to really wear like <sighs> sweats or jogger pants with that or shorts. I love that shoe. Though. I wasn't doing the jogger pants, but yeah, I, it, I, I, and I love that shoe. Maybe they were made fleece. to go with tech fleece. Yeah, yeah. They were like Legos that inter, you know, that locked. It's like a pieces <laughs> to the puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wealthy, what are what are some sneakers that you feel? No, like but I want to I want to go back to it. Oh, <laughs> the only thing I want to say is because go ahead. I think there was a joke that was misconstrued on full size run as you referenced it because you said the high shoe doesn't look you're like you don't know how to pull it off with your stature yeah and it's something that you've mentioned before in the past yeah and you asked me why i thought yeezy 750s were a shoe that like i can't picture you wearing yeah and then for that and that's and you were like why don't you think i can wear this shoe and i'm like dude you've mentioned it multiple times that super high tops you, you know just, what i have to do now right you just can't pull off i have to prove him wrong I have to show yes. up to this show with yes. the Yeezy 750. On. Yep. Okay, we'll I, do it. Challenge accepted. Okay, pull it off. <laughs> Tell um, us. Since you're so set on telling me all the shoes that look yeah, ugly yeah. on my feet, no, go I, ahead. Be be vulnerable. So, sorry that moment. I'm referencing the own <laughs> no, the, the own facts that I've found out uh, from things that you've told me in the past. Actually, paid attention. To all, right, all right, all right, all right. Um, one shoe I will admit that I still will say Only is a one. great shoe. No, I, but this is one that like first one that comes to mind. Yeah. That. Great shoe, um, but it's not like I don't like wearing it, but just like you're saying, like the top down or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just on your feet. Yeah. Uh, Air Max. Air Max. <laughs> wow, you're no, really no, like so it's hard okay. for him. I know. <laughs> no, because I love the shoe. Air Max 93s. Okay. I the love sock, that shoe. The sock, line, the yeah. sock thing on it's it. Tough. Just yeah. when you look down on it, you're just like, and everyone's like, no, that shoe looks fine on your foot. But then when you look down on it, you're just like, ah. Uh, Everybody else is telling you. Yeah, don't you it be looks so hard on, on yourself if everyone's telling you it looks so good. <laughs> no, Which, you know I had those. Um, I had the what was the collab that big complex shoe? I think big like Lauren, uh, Lauren shoe. It was like almost teal. What was that collab? Oh, the size. Yeah, size. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the yeah. suede. Um, I did so many of those. Yeah, no well, like you're talking too. about the white, light blue and black one. Just like the OG, yeah, yeah. the menthol. Yeah, menthol. Uh, another shoe too that. It looks awful on foot and also hurts your foot. The I, w I would say top five worst shoes of all time. Okay. In, in general or in yeah. terms of the comfort? Okay. Yeah, all where it's like, oh, it's like how the fuck did this shoe actually mm. get signed off by the R&D wear test lab? It's got to be a the, Nike shoe. Yes. Is the is the the uh, original Nike, uh, I think we mentioned it on here before, Nike free fly knit? Yeah. I actually never wore that, but... That was a shoe that, to me, I guess it made more sense on foot because it wasn't when it wasn't on foot, it was all curled up like. Yeah, that, but then right? when it was on foot, it was like actually going to cut off your blood supply. Uh, yeah, I, I never wore. It. Man, that was. You never a wore a shoe that like you took it off and you actually see like the imprint of the. No, I know what you mean. I'm just saying I never wore the free fly net, but man, those were outlets heavy then. Anyways, um, anyways, you're getting an amazing shoe that actually doesn't hurt your feet. Yeah, yeah. feel good. Packer New Balance 992. And let's go into shoes that we actually do like wearing. What do we have on today? Uh, these are the Metropolitan Skateboarding Adidas ZX8000. I like those a lot. I think it's the last Keith Huffnagel collaboration. Nice one. RIP. I went Yeezy 500 Utility Black. You guys surprised or no? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen, you've worn those before, right? I like these. These are one of my favorite Yeezys, I would say. Okay. Yeah. Not not mine. Okay. I like that shoe. There might be some more Huff sneakers coming up, but Ooh, we can talk about that later. Um, I got guy. I got on the M Mephisto match joints. There was a while where I was wearing these pretty regularly, and I might slide back into that. Um, Luxury walking shoes. Yeah. Big Nick Schomburger energy. For Shots sure. Nick. For sure. I thought 
actually no. Let me not. Let me not spoil too many things. Can we talk about Yeezys a little bit more? Yeah, let's talk about yeah. Because this past week the Wave Runners came back out. Did anybody hop on that? I have an original pair. I have a pair. We always talk about how him and I, I for the best yeah. sneakers of the year, yeah. I wanted to put to Calabasas, which I do love, which I do love. And he was like, the Wave Runners are way better. I was like, I don't think so. The Wave Runner, I really think, is the best Adidas Yeezy of all time. It's not like the Calabasas like aged poorly per se, but just uh, not that interesting, right? No, it's not. I just let, yeah. The Adidas Power Phase. Power which Phase. In I don't know if I mentioned this on here before. I think I wrote a story about it, but in Boston, that shoe's nickname was the Yum Yum. Okay. The Adidas Power Phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the high tops. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was like like in Boston for whatever reason, Adidas was really big. Sure. In the eighties, I think it. Uh, you have a couple of good stories on that. Yeah. Everyone used to come into the stores and like you guys got the Yum Yums. And that was the Power Phase High. Yeah. Random. Do you think the Wave Runner is the best Adidas Yeezy? Yes. Better Me than too. the Foam Runner? I, yes. I, I wouldn't consider that the sh a, sh a sneaker. Oh, the best Adidas Yeezy sneaker. You love the Foam Runner that I much? love the Foam Runner. Just from like a design. It's so cool. It's so different. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I agree. I talk about it a lot, but you know, I'm in Yeezy slides all the time in my house, but, but you can't really put that in the same Yeah, category. it's like saying like, oh, Yeezy slides with the best Adidas Yeezy. It's like, well, they can't really like. Not the best sneaker yet. Um. Wave Runners might be my favorite Adidas Yeezy sneaker. And I actually feel guilty because they've come back, I feel like, a million times now, or what feels like a million times, and I, I still didn't buy a pair of this last go around. Wasn't but that shoe when it first came out, you like you pre ordered it off the Yeezy Supply website and yeah. it came in a bundle or something? I remember exactly when it happened because I was on the LIRR going out to a David Amaya BBQ. Nice. <laughs> and uh, an old full size run co host was on the train with me, and I somehow. Oh, I, yes, I, and he got it, right? Yeah, I missed the window to pre order the Wave Runner, and I felt like I missed out big time. And I and I still have about the shoe, but yeah, I think that's I think that's maybe my favorite Adidas. Piece. I mean, I like the 700 V2 a lot, and I don't know. This is a funny conversation, too, because um, one of our friends actually texted me the other day and was like, are. Yeezys just for normies now? Like, do, do sneaker people actually like Yeezys? And Joe is giving you the answer right here. But I, I do think a lot of the shoes, like, we none of us would probably ever wear a 350 V2 at this point, right? Probably no, but not. I, but I would wear, I would wear a bunch of Yeezys still, I think. But maybe this is a hot take, and I don't mean this in a, a condescending way at all. Mm -hmm. But sneaker cold, no, 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 no. I know, I'm kidding. Sneaker culture has become so much more of like a normy thing in general, okay. where okay. like you do see people in Yeezy 350s and the people who are in the Yeezy 350s aren't just people who aren't like clued in. They may not know about what this shoe is yeah. or what a uh, a Pata Air Max One is no or way. none of that stuff, but like they have sneakers app and they're trying to hit on shoes, you know, but... They're in, in a different I would, level. I would still wear Quantums. I would still wear 700 V3s. 700 V3s. You wear the V3. Yeah. Mm, not me. I, honestly, I lose track. Of I like love the, it. It's tough. To, yeah. It's tough. Oh, great shoe that just re-releases the Statics. Okay. That's the 700 V2? Yeah. White shoe, so Joe wouldn't wear it. But <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I think the 700 V2 is up there, too. Maybe right behind the Wave Runner in terms of... Sorry, I'm talking about a colorway versus yeah. a model. But I think the 700 V2 is right up there in terms really of my good. favorite easy models. I will say, let's hypothetical. You have to wear one colorway of the 350. What is uh, it? I, uh, um, can I go? Does it have to be V2 or it could be any of them? Because I, the Moon Rock or the Oxford Tan, because to me that was a period when the Yeezy yeah. 350 was still exciting, even though maybe they made it a better shoe in the V2 version. But those are ones I really coveted. Yeah, I had the Moon Rock. I think it was, I sold them for $1,000. Oh. And. Financed my thirtieth birthday party. Birthday in Manchester, England. The Ritz. Oh, <laughs> let me ask you this: Is that still a good sale, or have they gone up and down in price? Should we look at I eBay real I quick? I don't know, but I feel like that's a, that was a pretty good amount to get for him. I think I got yeah, twelve. I'm not mad at you. I think I got twelve fifty for him, but then I got it was the stadium goods cut. Mm, I had two pairs of. You know what's those. mine? The zebra still. Yeah, I love the zebra, even though it's a white shoe. Would you consider it a white shoe? Uh, it's 50-50. Okay, 50-50. <laughs> exactly. Split I down love the, the zebra. I just remember Did the zebra. Did you used to fuck with zebra gum back in the day? Yes. Zebra striped gum? Yeah, Fruit of course. Stripe. Yeah, of course. Listen, let's be honest, it though. It had flavor for like three seconds. 
I was going to say five. Three to five <laughs> seconds. Fruit stripe gum, It's it, you, you're done. But it was really good. You just kept popping, yeah. Love that stuff. And the stuff. plenty packs. But yeah, Zebra Zebra is probably my favorite 350. We don't have anything for Wealthy on this. I, maybe we'll you rock. can't. No, wait, favorite. I just said Wave Runners. Oh, no. The the Yeezy 350, 350. colorway that you would yeah, wear. Yeah, I would wear one of the um, original ones. Do you, any, anyone? Turtle Dove. Turtle Dove. Yeah. Pirate Black. Yeah, any of those. Can By we, the way, I want to mention another exciting Yeezy thing this past week. Kanye West hiring former Nike ACG design director Noor Abbas away from Nike to be the new I head totally of design. I totally forgot when you mentioned Adidas. that that he had said I might hire. Sorry, head of design at Yeezy. Let me Didn't he have myself. the lyric where he said might hire your whole team, ACG? Yeah, in the original version of um, Life of the Party, he said I might hire the whole team from ACG. I, I love this. This is amazing. Like, I get Man so excited. Manifesting rap lyrics. Yeah, but also this thing of like, you know, sneaker industry poaching people and spying on people and figuring out who, who you know, who's worth having to sit on a non-compete for a year in order to come over. Like, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't know if you remember from the Joe Rogan podcast Kanye interview from a maybe a few years ago now, but he was, was talking last about... Last year, maybe? Yeah. He was talking about hiring people away from Nike, and he said, and I have no idea who he was talking about. He was like, Nike tried to sue us because we were hiring people, and one of the Nike designers that they were, had hired had to just go surf for a year because he was on this non-compete. For people who don't know, if you work at a big yeah. sneaker brand, you can't just go right to another big sneaker brand without taking some time off in between in order to wait out this non-compete period. So I, I love this type of stuff. The Three like, Amigos? Yeah, I mean, that's the most famous one. But yeah, I mean, and, and the team he has over there too, like, you know, obviously Steven Smith is somebody who we all yeah. talk about it plenty, but Christian Tresser, just like assembling this kind of Avengers type team is really didn't cool Christian, to me. You were talking about this and I didn't even know that Christian Tresser, designer of which Air Max shoe? Air Max 97. Air Max 97. Sorry, I would mixed up him and Sergio Lozano, who did the 95. Um, designed that Nike, uh, the the original shoe that the Solomon yeah. ACS Advanced Pro. We got to Chris. We got to talk to. I feel like there's no Christian Tresser like interviews too. out there either. We and he looks. He's it's just crazy. You see him. He's like total like early 90s like. LA metal surfer bro like he has like the long blonde yeah. hair like trucker hat yeah. like we got to we got to talk to some of those easy people before we get out of here can we talk about the new retro one Jeff Staples post a shoe a college I, I feel like we have to talk about it because what it's a, a random Jordan shoe I love that shoe though and those might be coming back is that right is that I, is that why we see so it he, he was recently? talking about they offered him a collab on these yeah I, I hear the shoe is about to make a comeback not a Jordan many people know but it's called the Jordan new retro low the name always reminded me okay anyway our, our hats off to you if you're listening to this and not watching this and you can picture in yeah. your mind exactly what Brendan Jordan would say new retro low. not a good shoe along with some early Correct. successful projects okay not the, the Nordic worst, pack. But uh, I used to wear these at UConn's uh, soccer intramurals, which terrible for the ankles. <laughs> why, did you, why did you wear the Jordan? I don't know. Joel Lapuma? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know for why. The record, talk about it. Like, talk about it. King of like the being, wrong footwear. Being the sneaker guy, but not knowing which sneakers are best <laughs> yeah. functional. To yeah. fit, like to couldn't do an Adidas uh, Samba. For, yeah. I mean, do you it not have turf. this embarrassing thing in your life where people find out that you're a sneaker person and they're like, "What's the best sneaker to yes. do this?" And you're like, "Dude." Yeah, that I, happens. I, I, I don't know. I just wear them because they look cool. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> but he was offered, it seems like he was offered a collab on the Jordan. He said no. New retro one. He said no. I feel like it was a, I, I don't know. I feel like he could have done something to it, though. Made any collaborations? Yeah. Hopefully we'll get him on the show here soon. Yeah, we, I would love, would to, love talk to talk to him about that. Just yeah, one. love to dig into that. I mean, are you excited then for the retro of the Jordan new? I mean, I wouldn't it buy called? it now, but I used to love those shoes. And they did the black. They did like the Chicago, the red colorway and then they did the royal colorway. You had every colorway. Yeah, <laughs> I just think it's royal. funny, and I don't know if I mentioned it on here, like, because there was obviously everyone knew or was like, Matt Welch, Jordan's biggest hater or whatever, mm -hmm. right? That was like how people always used to mm -hmm. view you. Yeah. yeah. And for whatever reason, finally, like there was one point where I had gotten into Jordan's like, didn't they didn't hate me anymore or something or like they're like we're willing to do an olive branch or whatever. Jordan brand didn't Michael hate you Jordan anymore. called you or? No, no, oh. but like. An Jordan, olive nine branch? Yeah. But end up going to, I think it was like the year end Jordan, like PR, uh, in like media get together or whatever. Okay. And it was at the, 
what's the bowling alley around the corner from the office? <laughs> yeah, I know. The, I don't know lucky, what it's called, but no, not lucky. Uh, I know that's, the that's one that's down talking by about. the water, but yeah, the one that's right around the corner. Yeah. You know, we're all sitting it's real there. sneaker insider industry type eating, stuff. You can only get this on a complex eating, sneakers podcast. As Brendan Dunn's had before, many like free like uh, chicken fingers <laughs> yeah. and like sliders. I love a, I uh, love can I can I interrupt thing. real quick? Nobody in this industry has eaten more hors d'oeuvres, sliders, you. jalapeno poppers, yeah, tater we, tots at sneaker industry events than me. Okay. We went to a, I, I think I think I brought Brendan <laughs> to a Kangol party. Tom Sachs, you brought me like it's some charity Tom thing. Tom Sachs yeah. guy. Or tater tot guy, you know? <laughs> brought, brought him, brought him, <laughs> what brought are we him, doing? To bring it full circle, brought him to a Kangol party. I don't know. Did you bring me to the party? I think I was like, hey, do you want to come? plus one? <laughs> wow. I said, hey, do you want to come? And you said, yeah. Wow. I'm looking up in my email just in case, but go uh, on. Went wait, to the Kangol party. And for the record, in front of you, I did bring you food today, so. You did. Wealthy brought me this Reese's Potato Chips Big Cup. Sorry, this is a big time advertisement, but this is the Reese's. God, we're getting off track. This is the Reese's with the... Potato chips inside. Yeah. Wow. And our friend Jay Faustino put me onto these I'm and sock and extra butter fame. Yeah, tracking them down and wealthy knows exactly where to find but them. Sorry. I'm looking up this Kangol you, thing in my email. You ate a lot of uh, mini hot dogs that <laughs> night. <laughs> yes. Oh man, I could go for some mini hot dogs right now. I absolutely but did. I say that to say I was at the party and they go, Hey, if you were actually to wear Jordans, because Matt Wealthy at the time, not number like Jordan hater would never wear Air Jordans. And I go, what, they go, what Jordan would you actually wear? And this was like 2017. Can I, can we stay on Kangol for one second? Yeah. You because I found a 2015 email. Okay. Where Gerald Flores King. looped me into the thread because he was going to be out of town. And he said, my colleague Brendan wanted to go. He huh? sees here, he's CC'd here. So yeah. I was not, okay. you're fucking plus one at the Kangol party. You may have been my plus one at the Kangol party. I don't think so. Hmm. All right, go on. Because I remember they sent me a free T-shirt or something like that. Anyways, <laughs> flex. Go on. No, it's not. But, okay, okay, okay. But they asked me what shoe would you actually wear, and and this we're back like, at the Jordan PR. Yeah, party. and I I'm sorry. and I go. And this is like 2017, and this is tied into what you're saying. I go. You know what? If I had to wear Jordan, I'd probably wear Jordan One Low because I don't wear high tops. It's like a flat shoe. Yeah, kind of. it's the same shape as a Adidas Casual Trainer or something. And the Jordan person at the time goes. Why would you want to wear that sneaker? Like nobody <laughs> likes that shoe. Kevin Durant does. But this was before. Also Noah Beck. This was before they had done the Travis One Low and yeah. like the Eric Costin and all. Like, do you think that you, you inspired? Hold on, that? hold on. Yeah. Hold no, on, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying on. that. Hold, yeah. Do you think that you inspired that? <laughs> do you think that 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 nugget, that golden nugget uh-huh. that you dropped at the 2017? PR Jordan brand meeting <laughs> at the bowling Inspired alley. Inspired them to at the bowling well, alley. turkeys were ringing bit, off in the background. This guy's was he there? He wasn't there. Was he there? You were kind mini, enough to invite eating, me as your plus one. Eating that the chicken you know tenders and mini hot dogs in the background, and you're laying out three years gems, of Jordan one lows to come. Gems exactly. to Jordan brand for free. But they they gave me like a you. <laughs> why do you like this shoe? And it's like. It ended up being like one of your most popular models Look at in recent this guy. time. Listen, don't brands. Give, don't give me a ew. Why do you like that shoe? <laughs> brands. If you have, <laughs> if, if you are a multi-billion dollar brand, right? <laughs> but you're having trouble. All of, it takes. <laughs> uh, all it takes. Three minutes with this guy at the guy bowling alley. At the bowling alley. So there's that. What, what was the other? <laughs> what was the shoe I got retro? The, the Air Max Deluxe. <laughs> that did happen. That did happen. That did happen. Did you? Did I you explain those. that? Have you told that story? Uh, no, but you were in the room for that one. He was eating mini hot dogs and chicken <laughs> tenders. No, if, I think if, no. There were, if there were hot dogs in a, in a tray with a little thing of oil heating them up below, I wasn't paying attention. Wow. No, you I'm kidding. There. I was in the room with you. We were at a Nike product. Can pre- I eat the Reese's? Yeah. We were at a Nike product preview where they were showing the us new product that was set to come out. Like, Is Dave going to get upset if I, I eat okay. the Reese's? There, it was like, I forget what time of the year it was, but say it was... It was fall, winter, and here's the new spring, summer shoes, right? Yeah. Like, that was the setup. Yeah. And they brought in the bag of samples, and they're showing us everything. And then a year and a half later. <laughs> 18 months exactly. 18 the exact months to the time to the day, frame that wait, a sneaker wait, brand needs to churn out a product. They ask us, what don't you see here that you would like to see come back? And I go, you know one Air Max model that I always liked that's never been retro. I remember this. Photo the, blue? Air, the Air Max Deluxe. I like that. Big, big 18 finish months line. later... They retroed the Air Max Deluxe. Really makes you wonder. That is not. But it didn't move. I I'm, I, don't, I don't care if it did or I'm just saying, they lost money on it. <laughs> no, no, they <laughs> I mean, didn't. I don't, I don't, I don't care if it did or didn't. I bought like three pairs. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Lapstone hooked me up. I don't care if it did or didn't. 
whatever came out. But at the same time, maybe maybe they were going to retro it, but that could not have been high on their priority list of shoes to bring back. Do you have any stock tips? (laughs) No, let me ask you this. We are allowed to give it out, insider trading. (laughs) True. In between bites of this Reese's Cup. Thank you. Do you think that your prompting of the retro Air Max Deluxe did more for Nike's bottom line than your New Balance 991 did for New Balance. Come on. What do you think move more units? Because uh, these are both ideas more. that we know for sure you, you you gave to sneaker brands and they ran with for they, free. Um, I mean, they made more money off the Air Max Deluxe. <laughs> okay. Or which did they lose less money on? And we, we should, you know what we should do? Cause, and end we're it? running out of time here. I mean, yeah. yes, end it. Because I want to get just Reese's, but... Soon I want to talk more about shoes that we want to come we'll back do a to whole... retro because there's a lot of stuff that we could talk about. And maybe we, yeah. Old stuff that we miss. Maybe we bring someone in for that. Like yeah, a, or, like or people t- could tell us in the YouTube comments. Actually, Definitely. no, don't tell us in the comments because then they'll be like, that was my idea. Yeah, exactly. No. Not that. I want to do that. It's something that we'd have to think about. Yeah. People know. Oh, my first one I'm going to say. The Kukini is coming back though, Joe. Yeah, Kukini. Yeah, we're getting closer to the Citizen. I'm into that. Right away. Not coming back, but speaking of going away, aren't you going on like a kick trip or something? I am. I am. Wait, there's a kick trip? There is yeah, we're still not invited. This is a Where's record. This is a record. Going to Arizona. We did not mention Kith until an hour in. I'll be in Arizona. Arizona, the land of no accents. Huh. Hiking. Yeah. Yeah. What is there product tied to it? We'll we'll circle back. Okay. okay we'll circle okay. back. What is it? Uh, the, were you gonna see the Grand Canyon? Maybe. You gonna go on the glass? Um, was it? it's like a clear glass shelf that goes over the Grand Canyon? You know about that? No. It's like a, it's like a lookout point, that is translucent. Okay. Might be a good IG photo. Dude, that seems so sketchy. Scary, right? Yeah. You'd be out there like Wiley Coyote. Well, listen, we've had a few bad weeks. Hopefully, I come back. <laughs> knock on, knock on wood. Hopefully, I come back unscathed. All right, listen. He's eating. This desk looks like a college dorm room with the <laughs> liquid death and the sneakers all over. I think it's a perfect time to end. This was fun, though. This was a fun one. This, yep. uh, we we went a bunch of different directions, but a lot yeah. of sneaker talk. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. A lot this. of sneaker talk? Yeah, there was a lot. We, okay, we gave him some sneaker talk. Yeah, definitely. All those models that you were rattling off. Yeah. So, listen. Hope you guys enjoy this. This has been the Complex Sneakers Podcast. Please like, subscribe, and we will see you guys next week. Oh, yeah.